A real covenant is a promise to do or not do something on land. Such a promise may be personal between landowners or attached to the land and enforceable against successors in interest. In the 1992 case Runyon v. Paley, the Supreme Court of North Carolina considered whether a real covenant prohibiting the construction of condominiums was attached to the land. In 1937, Ruth Bragg Gaskins acquired four acres of land in the Outer Banks region of North Carolina. The land was waterfront property, with Pamlico Sound on the west and Silver Lake on the east. Subsequently, Gaskins subdivided the land and conveyed several of the lots by deed. In 1954, Gaskins conveyed a sound front lot to Charles and Mary Runyon. Nearly six years later, the Runyons reconveyed the same lot back to Gaskins and in return received a lakefront lot. Gaskins then conveyed the sound front lot to Doward and Jacqueline Brew. Included in the Brew's deed were restrictive covenants limiting the lot to residential use and prohibiting the construction of more than two residences on the lot. In 1961, Gaskins died and her daughter Patsy Williams acquired her land. Additionally, following Gaskins' death, the Brews conveyed their lot to Warren Paley. Paley and his wife Claire later began constructing condominiums on the lot. The Runyons and Williams then sued the Paleys in Superior Court, seeking to enjoin construction of the condominiums. Specifically, they argued that the covenants in the Brews' deed attached to the land and were enforceable against the Paleys. In response, the Paleys argued that the covenants were personal between the Brews and Gaskins and moved for dismissal. The Superior Court agreed and dismissed the complaint. The Runyons and Williams appealed to the Court of Appeals, which affirmed. The Runyons and Williams further appealed to the Supreme Court of North Carolina.